going to get the last remnants of some great big snow drifts still around. And, you know, those snow drifts kind of saved us this year. Well, it saved us maybe or not. What, what we wanted to talk about here during our Far Basics time is frost. And there's a huge difference between 2009 and what's happening now this spring in 2010. I'll explain why. Last year, we had a really deep frost. Actually, the last two years, we had a deep frost into the ground. The, the ground conditions got very, very cold in our part of the country. So we farm in southeast South Dakota, and literally it was the first part of May before the last of the frost went out of the ground. We already had two-thirds of our corn planted, and the frost wasn't even fully out of the ground yet. But now it is, and that's the big difference. Here it is. Uh, you know, the middle of April, and the frost is out of the ground. In fact, the frost is out of the ground in March in a lot of places. It was because we had so much snow cover. Well, it is so visible when you're driving down gravel roads. Yeah, there may be just a little bit of mud on the surface, but it's not where the roads are completely soft and you're sinking in and all this like we had a few years back. Now, if you're in an area where it's flooding, that's a whole different, different ball game. But as far as the frost goes, we just didn't have that frost go deep down, and our roads are in a lot better shape, and boy, that's made things a little nicer this spring. Well, that's been a little bit nicer, but here's the downside of having no deep frost. What frost does for us in the northern part of the country is it can potentially kill a few weed seeds, but it definitely kills a lot of insects, and it kills a lot of diseases. Well, when we haven't had a good hard frost, I'm very concerned going into 2010 that as farmers, we're going to have more problems with both insects and diseases. Well, this is interesting. You know, guys talk about, well, they've got so many advantages in the south, and there are some advantages there, but there's also some advantages in the north being really, really cold. So you do have to plan for that, especially as you're planting corn seed uh, or spring wheat seed. Do some different things to fight against those. Seed treatments are getting very important with yep. fungicides and also with some of the insecticide products like Poncho, Cruiser, and Gaucho that are labeled in a number of crops. Yep. So there's nobody out there that can perfectly predict insect pressure or disease pressure, but I'll tell you this, I am very concerned about it this year and I know seed treatments are going to be a big thing on our farm just because of the way the year is set up, the fact that the frost never really got very deep. We're worried about those things. They could potentially hurt our crop. The other thing that we wanted to talk about for just a second is compaction. Frost can take out, it doesn't take out all compaction in soil, but it can take out a little bit of compaction. When we haven't had a deep frost, we're still going to have a lot of compaction and we had some issues last fall where it was tough getting the crop out so we had a lot of compaction problems didn't solve those with with this uh, non-frost year well you know what Brian I'll take my chances I'll have a little <laughs> warmer weather a little bit less frost is just yeah. fine with me we'll just plan on managing that going into the spring and it's something that most people aren't thinking about at all but when we're asked are we going to have more issues with this or that frost is one of the things that we look at Yep. Well, another thing we might have more issues with this year is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it on your farm coming up later in the show.